Alrighty guys, we are playing the second mission in Devil May Cry 2. Devil May Cry. Uh, DMC Devil May Cry. And uh, I'm just like going through this as a... How do you say this? Um, as a... Uh, can't find the right word. Lost in thought. What's the right word I'm looking for? Mm. As a... Advice! Video. It's just like an advice video. I'm gonna go through the mission some. Hold on, hold on. You need some advice about your intro. <laughs> yeah. Don't get quiet now. Don't get quiet on you me need now. advice like on... Like how you want me to play, like if you want me to go through it normally, or if you want me to just play through it with or without abilities. Because right now I'm playing on the full thing, and I already have every ability along with all the weapons, such as the guns, all of his guns, his... Scythe from his mother, the axe from Sparta, his father, his sword, his fists, and something else. Can't quite remember. But I'm trying to see how exactly you want me to play this. Probably just gonna play it normally. Usually fine with that. So if want it to be normally played then I'll do that but need somewhat of advice on exactly how like which way to play how how you want the videos to be like and also I'm gonna need assistance with my intro like my little cousin Jalen just it just said cuz don't quite have an intro yet prepared for this but we will in the future probably probably not probably just go into games and just be like hey guys today we're playing da 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 etc 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 May just add in some accents to make it seem a little funny. Just because, you know, nobody wants to hear the same old, same old. Oh, look at that. We're playing Devil May Cry again. It's not new. No, we gotta have at least some pop to our game. Our game plays. So, I'll probably do random accents. Here and there. Don't mind the strapping in the background. I definitely don't have a cast on my leg right now. <laughs> totally not obvious. Yeah. Also, the reason you may have noticed, I have a lot of uh, red souls. Red orbs? Red souls? Orbs? Orbs. Whichever you want to call that. Orbs. I'm also going to be starting a new game, but orbs. how I got that many red orbs is because I played through the... What is this called? Okay. Bloody Palace. I played through the Bloody Palace like three times so that I can finally get the last upgrade that I needed. So I ended up getting that along with every item being able to be bought. I bought all of the health crosses and the devil trigger crosses every move is unlocked because like I said this is the max this is my old game so I just like played it non-stop on just this one I played in my other profile also but I don't really play in it anymore cause just 
afford it, but I'm not going to be using the same profile, maybe, because I'm still missing like one trophy in this one profile, so I may just keep on going with this. Also, my controller is a little messed up, so you may see the camera go from side to side at some points, like when I'm turning, it'll just keep on turning. But that's pretty much it on what I wanted to say in this video. I may do some weird things with the game, like, I don't exactly have just one controller, I have like four controllers, but just this one isn't completely dead. Except for maybe like the original PlayStation 3 controllers, which I'm using. So, I may just go through this whole thing. Normally, I may not. Well, it just depends. I like to make it a challenge, so what I'm going to do is, instead of, um just playing this one game also gonna be playing a lot of others to make it tricky I'm gonna play it on Nephilim which is the hardest difficulty that is default hardest default difficulty that you can play in along with just trying not to get hit and if I get hit I may like restart it but I'm gonna go through like everything that I can like, I'm not going to go through every detail, like, the first three levels, I'm not going to do each one of those. I'm going to do all of, both, all three of the extra difficulties, like, Dante Must Die, Heaven or Hell, no, Heaven and Hell, along with Heaven and Hell, Hell and Hell, which means Heaven and Hell, both enemies die, both enemies and Dante die in just one hit, while in Hell and Hell, Dante dies in one hit, while the enemies have their normal amount of health, plus the uh, enemies are going to be mixed up, so also this game may be a little late compared to other like YouTubers may be playing this like two years ago, three years ago or so. I don't quite remember when this game let out, but I've actually been enjoying it this whole time that I've played it. So I'm gonna stop here so not completely spoiled, but I also ended I'm gonna be doing some completion videos like I'll do all of the where all the lost souls are, where all of the secret keys are, I'll be doing where the secret missions are, like I have all my secret missions unlocked and completed, hardest one was the normal, no, the one where there's only one key, and that was the shenanigans, which means I have to kill all enemies, you may think that that's like easy and simple, but it's tough because you have, they don't die when they fall off of the arena so they just fall back onto the plate which makes it really difficult I've got most of the concept art except for some rare ones so probably just gonna keep on going in this profile just depends I may just make a new one but that's pretty much it for this video may add in some things and later on but just depends so with that Damon signing off and adios muchachos